praise the good Lord. Amen. Amen. And thank God, you. We just thank Him for saving us. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, coming down. And, 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 and uh, I told them, I tell them, I heard a man one time say, he said, I've never been over to uh, the Holy Land, but uh, every now and then God will bring the Holy Land. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And, uh, 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 it's good to be with you all today. Thank God for what we felt and what we heard. Uh, I got five minutes from here, Brother Scott, and my, my phone rang and Sissy called and she said, they've called an ambulance for Dad. And I said, sis, uh, uh, I'm almost at the church and I, I feel led to be here. Yeah. And, and, and I don't say that for anything other than to say, uh, uh, God knows what we need right on time. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. And, and me and Daddy have told each other yes, a long time ago, Brother Bless Rick, uh, awesome. Amen. Come on, bro. that when it comes one of our time to go, we just wait on the other and over on the other yeah. side. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But I'm so thankful today yeah. to be in a place where you can feel love. Yeah. And, uh, and hey, wonderful. Oh. Somebody said that crowd ain't too big. Yeah. I read in the Word one time where the crowd wasn't too big. Right. Hey man, but the next thing you know, the Lord just took a hold and Come on, made bro. all the Lord's he had come along and he had touched the blind. And the next thing you know, they'd be able to see. Hey man, I serve Jesus. Hey man, that's able to take sugar diabetes, a cancer, a heart attack. Hey man, he said, cast all your cares on oh, me. For I care for Amen. you. Well, ain't you glad today the Bible says his eyes is over the righteous <laughs> and his ears is over the right. Amen. Amen. Brother Randy, uh, Brother Darn, don't let me get all the way. Amen. But when I was a little boy, uh, you could fall, Scott, and you could get hurt. Uh, and automatically it never failed out of your mouth would come mama or daddy. Uh, amen. And the next thing you know, uh, they come along and scoop you up. said one time said this fellow went to preach a revival and said as he got off the airplane the people in the building said well huh said I wonder where his fishing poles are at <laughs> another one said well wonder where his golf clubs are at <laughs> another one said he didn't even have a car ready to go sightseeing and said so they asked the old preacher said why had you come? <laughs> he said, I've come to tell you about Jesus. Yes. It's Amen. all I know, folks. I've been this thing now a long time. When I first got started, I was young as these fellas. Yeah. But now I'm old and gray, and my knees hurt a whole lot, and a lot of things I could complain about, but I'm not going to, Brother Bobby. Yeah. Hey, but can I say to you that I don't regret a mile but that I have traveled for the Lord. Amen, Somebody said, you ain't old. I said, no, I just got a lot of miles. Yeah. Hey, but can I say to you that everything I've ever been able to do for the Lord, yes, sir. just a little tiny scratch to what He done for me. Amen. I'm led to believe, Brother Jason, honey, that this is the time of the year that everybody or to be thankful for what was done on Calvary. That's right. Brother Darn, I come through here and I forget. I still get a part of the bypass. I just about pass it up, Brother Ben. Almost pass up the dollar store there in McDowell, Eastern, wherever that is. But today, I, I took the turn. And as I went through there and saw the cutoff sissies, Amen. I saw the mountains peek through other mountains. Yeah. Uh, did you ever think when Jesus 
Jesus was a young boy. But Brother Rick Carney, maybe as he walked by the mountain, yeah. he might have looked up to Mama and Daddy and might have said, What's that mountain's name? What's that hill's name? Oh, honey, that's dog golf. Hey, can I tell you something, other? I'm glad to believe that before there was ever a sinner, amen, there was a Savior. by, you ought to be like the little leper. The leper, they said to him, said, be quiet. Hey, can you imagine telling a man to be quiet when he looked out and said, there's the only change I got. The only hope I got to get better is passing by. Hey, brother, the only hope you got in getting saved is passing by. Amen, He wants to save you. A standing with outstretched arms, a saying, Come unto me. Oh, you that are heavy laden. Give you rest. What are you talking about, rest, preacher? There is a rest that comes from Jesus that worketh all things. Amen for his good. On my way over here, I stopped at three different places, two different places, to get a handkerchief. Hey man, the first one said, honey, we ain't had none of them in a long time. Oh my, we're living in a time where preachers don't need handkerchiefs. Something they're not good about that. Hey man, and then I went to another one. She said, now, we don't sell handkerchiefs. She said, but we got these bandanas. <laughs> And then she looked at me and she said, I don't reckon you want one of them, do you? I said, no, honey. I, I just take a couple napkins. I just take a couple paper towels. Hey, and then I get here. Brother Jason, God's done me this way for a month now. When I get here and didn't have my napkin, when I get here and thought, oh Lord, they going to think I'm a little contrary. I kind of, I, I just go about my own way. Yeah, being me. Yes, it goes good being that way, Brother Toe. Yeah, but then I got here and I said, hell this. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, holy this is. Uh -huh. yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, 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 that's right. Oh,
said, I'm going to tell you how Jesus taught us. <laughs> he said, I heard some of you all been taking communion separate. Yeah. He said, that's not the way it's supposed no, to be. No, brother. Hey, brothers, I wouldn't come over here and preach doctrine for nothing. No, hey, but I don't believe in half yes, brothers. No, brother. I don't. Yes, I don't believe in half brothers. No, come on. I call you my brothers. That's right. We've been saved. Yeah. We've been born again. That's right, brother. The Spirit would show the flow yeah. one from another. That's right, brother. Because we have Him. Amen. We have Amen. life. That's right. And we have Him more abundantly. That's right. Praise the Lord today that he that don't have Jesus don't have him no life according That's to this right. book. Oh, but my Jesus told him that I'm done. We're going to get out of your way. But Jesus told him. He, amen. He said, now, nah. he said, I'm going to go away. He said, if I don't go, the comforter won't come. I hear people all the time, Brother Rick, call it the it. Calling in the Holy Spirit, the end. No, no, brother. We hold the Holy Ghost just as honorable yes, and high as we do God in Jesus. Amen, brother. Amen. According to the book of Genesis, the Bible says the three are one. Yeah. Amen. But again, tonight, church, as Jesus went into the tomb, oh my, as they took him off the tomb, Amen. Don't you remember whenever the Lord said the Son of Man had no word to lay down his hand? Yeah. You remember reading that? That's right. Amen. The foxes, why they oh, have places. Oh, oh. <laughs> right. Come on, brother. That's right. Right. Uh, brother Ben, even in death, uh, right. he didn't even own a tomb. Oh, yeah. uh, but uh, another man said, I got one. Uh, yeah. I got one that's never been used. Uh, and they laid my Savior in there. Uh, amen. And they sealed it up with a stone. Yeah. Uh, amen. And the king made a decree. Uh, uh, put a seal on it. Uh, my daddy's a masonary. Uh, for years, I thought the seal meant that he took concrete mortar and plastered it in. Oh, no, no. Uh, it was a seal from the king's ring. Uh, from that said, don't you let nothing in. Uh, and don't you let nothing out. Uh, but did you hear my brother sing about Mary? <laughs> The Bible says that morning, uh, amen, that morning of all mornings, uh, uh, they went down to anoint Jesus. Uh, uh, somebody said, why would they do that? Uh, they knew they couldn't move the stone. Uh, that's right, they couldn't, uh, but their God could. Uh, amen, I don't know what stone you've got in your life, uh, but my God can remove it. Amen. Set the captain free. Uh, mama, your baby may be so far along that you don't know uh, what else to do. Uh, you just keep going to Jesus. Uh, you just keep carrying the ointment. Uh, you just keep getting up every morning and say, I'm going to anoint Jesus. I'm going to praise Him. I'm going to lift Him up. Uh, he said, if He be lifted up, oh, man, it to Him. Some of you got family that the world says has went too far. <laughs> Jesus said, I come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen, brother. Amen. Some of you got people that used to come to church with you and they ain't been here in a while. Don't you quit inviting them. Hey Amen. We need to go out into the highways and the byways and compel them to come. Right, and I went Amen. way longer than I planned on there. But, buddy, when they got to the tomb, the Bible says that the two disciples were on. Mary went and told them, Hey, Jesus has come out of the grave. And I believe they dropped whatever they had. I believe they run. Yeah, that stone drove away. Yeah. And the Bible says the one disciple uh, outrun the other. Yeah. <laughs> but when he got to the tomb, he stopped. Yeah. Hey, he seen him put Jesus in now. He seen the stone and then see That's right. Yeah. And now he looks right. different. Uh, yeah. And now he looks different. Uh, the stone is well over. Right. And the uh, soldiers <laughs> are sitting there. Hey, Amen. How can this be? Uh, right. Brother Darren, the other one looked in. And he saw it was folded. It was folded. He said the napkin is folded. That's right. What's so important about that? Maybe every one of you knows it. I'll just tell you again. <laughs> Amen. In Bible times, when you got done eating, Amen, you just watch your napkin up. 
you'd throw it in your plate and then we'd still talk to each other <laughs> kind of like if we went down the road and we eat till the salsa was gone <laughs> we'd stay even after the meal and talk hey, Wednesday night after church me and Darren got in a discussion and I told Fran I said if I wait till they leave I'll be here all night I just said lock the doors boys <laughs> amen it's good to get to enjoy our Christian yes. life amen. Amen. that we don't want to even leave church when it's over amen but as they looked in and saw the napkin was folded, if you folded your napkin up, put it there, and went back to shake somebody's hand, or perhaps you went over to hug somebody's neck, when you done that, and the waiter or the waitress would come by to your plate, oh, they'd see that folded napkin, and they'd say, we're leaving it alone. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Amen. Amen. Hey! Oh, Jesus is coming back. Amen. The first time he come to bring something, brother. The first time he come to bring salvation, so that you and I could be saved. But can I tell you something? Uh, the next time he's coming, he's coming to get something. Amen. What's he coming to come on, bro? The church. Amen. And that he walked. Uh, with his only blood. Yes. Hey, uh, and they tell me there's 12 gates for the rich. Uh, hey, man, a fellow one time, him and another guy got in an argument over oh, which gate is going through. I thought that's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Brother, I'm going to tell you something, brother. I need her to swing open big enough for me to get through it. I ain't coming back out. I ain't going around and in all the doors. I just want in. I just want to go in. And then I had been able to hear Jesus. Well, that's one of the angels says, yeah, Who are these people? He said, hey, this he is me. <laughs> that have come out of great tribulations. Yeah. Uh, having their robes oh, yeah. washed and made white. Yeah. <laughs> Why did it snow? Hey, listen to me. If you ain't heard nothing else I say, that napkin still folded. Uh, Jesus is still coming. Amen. Amen. And when He comes this time, it could be tonight. Uh -huh. I told you my daddy's sick. You know what? We might meet on the cloud together. <laughs> I told him before over there where we pastor. I said, I hope God puts me on the very side of the cloud that some of you quiet people are on. Yeah. <laughs> you think I shout now? One of the reasons we shout is because I told the Lord whenever I got saved, I wasn't going to. <laughs> i just be honest with you. I told the Lord, Brother Randy, I said, I'm not going to be like them fellas. Right. <laughs> they cry and hug each other by the neck. <laughs> Make all this commotion ever was. Yeah. But then I got under conviction. I said, God, you saved me. I'll do whatever you want me to. I'm to do. Today. I'll yeah. preach the water. I'll sweep and mop the church. Yes, sir. I'll grab the rain. I'll cut the grass. I'll do whatever you want me to. There have been times I've let my side down. But since he ain't never let me down. Never. And he wants you either. That's right. You take heed to what my good brother says. Uh, one of them the other night was kidding. And they said, Preacher, I was telling my old brothers how much I love them. And one of them said, do you even love the brothers that have been visiting other churches? And I said, so long as you know they to come back home. <laughs> I said, but I'll be honest with you. I said, since the Lord sent Darren and Thomas to us, we're doing so much visiting. I'm starting to think people was wondering about us. <laughs> and these fellows are a lot younger than me. Yeah, but buddy, we just, we just we, we way behind on our visits. And, and Brother Darren won't mind me saying that. No. But we're going to do everything we can to make up for a little bit. That's good. Why? Because it's daylight. Don't make it work. It's always the work once. But now it's coming. Always the bottom of the shoe turn. He said, now it's coming. Yeah. And no man can work. I know the brother's hard. Working down in Lexington and have his heart up here. If you don't know what that's like, it'll work you out. And Jason died from Ohio. Wherever they come from to be here, uh, 
Hey, can I say to you, but we're working while it's day. Yes, sir. Amen. And when night comes and you get to call that Jamie Hughes has went on, <laughs> you just smile right real big and say, hey, he's resting. Right. <laughs> I'm going I'm to rest. Yeah. Like I ain't never rested before. The fifth day of April, 1998, I got saved and went back to Alice Lloyd College. Slept on a full size or twin size mattress. Looked up into the sky and said, God, I don't know what tomorrow holds. But I told Jeff, do whatever you want me to. And one more time, let me say, I don't regret him. I love everyone. Some of you. We love you. Come on, brother. Well done. Pray.